welcome to my channel, Starkeology Tarot. I love you. Let's just get that right out of the way. Um, I'm so happy to have you here to get to connect with you in this way. What an honor and a privilege to get to read your cards for your May tarot reading. Um, I want to take a moment and call in your guides, your ascended masters, your angels and archangels, um, your people. I'm going to call in your people on the other side. Um, we're interested in message, messages today that will help align you with your highest self, your highest good, and your highest path. Only messages that are going to empower you, encourage you, um, put, your, put you in the right mind and heart space to um, manifest the, the potential that, that you actually, that will actually do you the most good. Um, you have a say in that. <laughs> and and your, your, your mind set and your heart set um, play a big role in that. So let's let's invite those messages in. Messages for Cancer for the month of May. Messages for Cancer for the month of May. This is good for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I encourage you to watch your other Placements. If you want a more complete picture of the unique puzzle that you are, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay. Interesting. I, I don't know why I just was called to pull another card. I've been doing three, but I just That felt right <laughs> um, I'm getting different messages. Okay, a lot of messages are coming in right now. There's different messages really for Different members of this collective so listen up. Let's talk about one first of all some of you are in a position where you are having you are really being a provider for other people. You are taking care of others. You are responsible for other people. You are um, just this this wealth of resources for others, and and really taking like leadership. You're you're um, kind of coming into your own personal authority and, and sovereignty in that way. In in how you are leading other people, um, and really making sure they have their their basic needs met, and it's. It's so admirable. Um, what you are struggling with, those in this group, um, is actually accessing gratitude for what you have and what you're doing because you maybe are, are feeling depleted in how much you are giving to others um, in or maybe even bitter or a little bit resentful in being in this leader's leadership position. I hear that some of you did not ask to be in this position. You didn't ask to be in a position where you are leading others or having to take care of others. And so that is is really kind of testing your ability to feel grateful and acknowledge um, your blessings um, and thereby invite more abundance and more blessings to you because th those things go hand in hand. So it just kind of feels like I'm being drained, I'm being depleted, and then I can't access what I'm grateful for. So I just, I create just more draining and more depletion. Um, the answer for you is to make it a specific, the advice I'll say, is to, is to make a decision um, I'm hearing like cut some things out. Um, really, really cut out what is what you feel is like beyond you right now. Um, yeah, and then that leaves more space for you to acknowledge your path because that's what's missing in in here. Is is there's a lot. Part of your path is being a nurturer. It is being pro a provider. But there's so much focus on that right now that there's 
not really room for honoring your own path, honoring the things that are unique to you. You do a better job at honoring the things that are unique about others and bending to their specific unique needs than to your own. So there is this um, need right now to make certain decisions that will allow space for you to honor the things that are special about you, unique about you, the weird things about you, I wanna say. Like the things are like, I, I don't know, I'm, this is something that's different about me from other people or different from my path. And instead of steamrolling it or counting it out because it doesn't match other people's and it doesn't, it's inconvenient for me to take care of this one. So many other people actually need this instead. Um, instead of doing that, this is like, the thing that makes you weird, the thing that is unique about you, that's like feel like some extra, you know, a superfluous thing. Um, that's the thing that you need to honor the most. That that's the thing that you need to make space for the most because that is so crucial to your path of individuality, your path of self-realization. So that's some of you. Others of you, what I'm seeing is that you actually are in a very grateful place right now. You are really channeling gratitude and it is because you are having all your resources, all your needs met. You have access to these resources. You're ex you're extremely grounded, maybe more grounded than you have felt in a very long time. You feel very in charge of like the tools that you have at your fingertips and your ability to like reach out to this connection, use this tool that you have, do this and just like make things happen. Um, it, it really feels like these things are bowing down to you. You're the, the puppet master of like a lot that's happening in your life because you have these, you have this kind of access and also clout, respect from other people that puts you in a position of power to, to make sure your needs are met and the needs of others. Um, so you actually are feeling extremely grateful this month. You're feeling like, overwhelmed by this gratitude what you are struggling with is a specific decision that I think it's a decision it could be a decision between yourself and others like it's a decision of choosing you um, instead of, of, of or choosing your need instead of someone else's need. And that's, it's really hard for you to do because you really take pride in this leadership position. You take pride in setting an example, in helping others, in being an important part of a community. Um, so it's really hard for you to be like, well, in this case, I need to choose my need over this person's. Um, others of you, it's, it's a decision that is, um, that you tell me what comes to mind first, but it's a decision just that you're really finding yourself in your head about. It's you're having hard, a hard time accessing how you feel about it and in your heart, but also in your gut, your instinct. Um, it's like, that's almost like separate. And you just keep finding yourself in analysis paralysis about this decision. And it could be the fact that there's so many things that you're grateful for and you're in such a good position that you're afraid to rock the boat or change that in any way it kind of adds to your analysis paralysis. It's like, I don't want to screw things up. I don't want to do something that could jeopardize my position as king of discs here. Um, I don't want to do something that could jeopardize all these blessings that I feel grateful for. Um, but the, the answer here, when making this decision, ask yourself, what is the thing that moves you further down your unique path, not someone else's path, not a path that looks like others, others paths that you're, you know, you're comparing yourself with. Um, what is the thing that is so special and unique to you? Um, the thing that makes your path look different. What is the choice you make that supports that direction that supports that thing? It might be something that other people look at you and go, why are you doing that? That looks crazy to me. Um, that's so weird that you would do that. Uh, that's like really risky. I don't, you know, I have a, like a lot of judgments about that. I've got a lot of op opinions about that. But there is something in you doing that that feels scary because it's different, but it also feels liberating. And the reason it feels liberating is because it is honoring your authentic self. You are literally liberating the authentic you. 
that's why it feels good. That's why those feelings of liberation and the feeling of it being right is ultimately more compelling than the fear of judgment of others um, or the peer pressure from others. That cannot compete with the feelings of liberation you feel by being your true self. Um, so that should weigh into this decision that you're making. It's one of these, it could be a mix of these things, of these interpretations, um, but I hope that was helpful, Cancer. I would love to hear how this looks specifically for you in your life, so feel free to open up and comment below. Share your life with me, your heart with me, your mind, and your soul. Um, how lucky am I to get to receive that? <laughs> uh, if you haven't liked this video, please consider liking it. Please con please give me some likes um, on your other placement videos. Watch your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Get the whole complete picture of the unique puzzle that you are. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Turn those notifications on uh, so you can see whenever I do a tarot reading. And I'm going to be doing more and more with the more support I get, which leads me to my next point, my Patreon. Please check out the link below to my Patreon. You can support this work for just a few dollars a month. You can get personalized, personalized, customized readings, personal with me, one-on-one um, -on -one every month at a discounted price on Patreon. Um, you can basically help give me the resources to be doing more readings for you. Moon transit readings, daily card pulls, pick a pile readings, more specific readings on love, career, uh, friendships, relationships, money, etc. Um, so I'm really trying to build up those resources so that I have the bandwidth to be helping and supporting you more. So please consider uh, supporting if you can in that way. Um, share this channel too. Share it with anyone struggling. That's why I started this during the pandemic. Um, really wanted to create support for people who may be looking for it in unconventional places. I love you so much, Cancer. I'm rooting for you as always. Excited for you this May. There looks like there, it's ripe with with um, opportunity for you and um, recalibrating you on your unique path, um, your unique adventure that can take you to your unique destination. Um, I love you very much and I'll see you next time.